All right, guys. We are uh, doing the first startup of the year on the lawnmower. Um, this isn't super fresh gas, I don't think. But let's get it on there. I sharpened the blade. Got it on there. Um, the one bolt didn't want to tighten a whole lot. Let's put a you know one of that quarter tank in there. Smoky. Uh, <coughs> I know that it was really smoky last year. So this doesn't have a primer, it just has the, the uh, choke on the mat. This out of the way. When I was putting the blade back on, there's two bolts, and the one bolt seemed like it was getting tight, but wasn't super tight, so um, I didn't want to strip it out, so I stopped. I don't know. It's a Fleet Farm one. That's where I got it from, at least. Fix this up real good. I did take the spark plug out, and I um, burned it off. Seemed a little bit, a little bit sooty or like oily. So okay. So uh, normally it'll idle, but it won't rev up. So I'm just gonna pump it a bunch of times because. These ones, when they overflow, they just go back into the tank. So I'll run some gas through, maybe clean out a little bit. And, uh,.
thought you can lubricate the end of this thing. I mean, I know <clears throat> this is all pre-greased. Sounds just whatever. Anyway, good. So burn up the uh, plug out for that. That's good. <clears throat> Must have had a little bit too much oil in there. Maybe let it idle or something. A little bit too long. Um, oh, you guys are balanced on the uh, leaf blower, but I'll show you guys. This thing always works. Probably don't even have to choke it. Works like a charm. All right, so we're all pretty much ready to go. Uh, let's do a rundown. Uh, leaf blower I got at a uh, used place for it was like 50 bucks this I bought new but it was 80 bucks this I got for free on the side of the road and the recoil didn't work and I um, oh I uh, let me show you guys needed they have quite a bit of parts for those still it needed a dog and a spring it cost me 20 bucks 20 bucks but that's all it needed and uh, that's it so um, I didn't have the bagger I think the bagger it was in actually one of those green bagster bags that you guys might see around it was in one of those, and I pulled it out, but it didn't have, um, I didn't grab the bag, and it didn't run, and you can tell that it's a little worn out, it knocks, especially when you put the blade on there, but it cuts grass really good, it goes through fuel pretty conservatively, and, uh, yeah, I can... We can burn a little oil, it's not going to hurt my feelings. Uh, and it's not enough oil really to even um, make a difference, but I should check the oil. Definitely should check the oil because it does burn it and I don't remember the last time I checked it. So let's do that as just our one last thing here. We'll check the oil. In the way. I'm happy I got that going because I was really bummed out. Now I kind of know, like, hopefully that's it. Oh, that's tight. There we go. Uh, the oil actually looks pretty clean. To mow my yard, it only takes about 15 minutes. black, I don't want to change it. Oh, it's starting to rain out now. Good. Yeah. As you can see, it's a little dark on video, but we got oils all the way up, and it's not even that dark. So I think I'm just going to run the same oil this season. I think I went through like probably three or four tanks of gas last year. But then at the end of the year when I went to store it, the tank was actually bone dry. And I ran it for about five minutes, just whatever was left in that carburetor and then the fuel line. And it ran right out. So that's a good thing if you want to keep your stuff nice. Um, like now that ice fishing's over. The auger, all the gas gets dumped out, and then I run it for a couple minutes, and it burns all the rest of the gas out, and that way it doesn't get gummed up in there. Same with, like, well, the leaf blower I didn't, but I did use that this winter. But, like, this Remington weed whack, I dumped all the fuel out, and then 
it wouldn't rev up for me, but I idled it, idled it until it died. That seems to be something that my grandpa taught me and works good. So, all right, well, there you go. Come on, summer.